what it proved to us today was that each one of the candidates was almost equally skilled. And that is important to know because each one of them came out of different training centers. When they come together here, what we need to know is that whatever method that they are using in each area, that we can see that they know the basic skills of the ironworker trade. And that is, I think, the critical element of what was proven here today, that each one of them showed that they were capable of doing all the core curriculum tasks. So now going back, trying to administrate the programs, trying to put in different curriculums to make sure that we have the most competitive and productive workforce out there in the industry today and maintain those high standards. We take the test scores and evaluate what some of the things that we noticed that maybe the apprentices were doing similar Maybe they weren't doing as well as one another, and we take from that, and then we go back and we re-implement uh, the, those things into the training course. Also, what it does is it gives us the ability to achieve a higher level than just a graduating class. Always when you have a competition, you have to push the candidates, the apprentices, to a level where they exceed the normal expe expectations. All of the candidates here did that. I want to see where the future's at. I want to see that um, our apprentices are being trained and they're being trained well. We can see the best of, of the best here. It's important that we train these young apprentices to continue this, this great trade of ours. It's, just, it's so important and the industry's changing. It's changing rapidly. First place goes to Ron Olenkamp, Local yeah. 14. Yeah. Second place, Tyler Kentucky. It was pretty close between the second and third. We've got Daniel Biggers from 751. Third place goes to Russell Tennis, Local 29. Congratulations.